Welcome to Lunchtime with Liz. I'm glad you stopped by. This is the card that I'll be making today with you. Okay, I want to show you a great idea with designer series papers. Some of the designer series papers um, have full patterns all over. Some of them have ones that are make it very easy to cut and make for a background of a card. So let me just share with you. I'll show you what I mean. The paper that I'm going to be using is Beauty of the Earth, and this is in the annual catalog. It has been cut up quite a bit already. Um, let's see what I'm going to try and share with you what I was talking about. This one is like an even pattern all around. Okay, the whole the whole sheet of 12 by 12 paper is an even pattern. Um, this one here, the whole sheet is an even pattern. But then there's other pieces like this where it's very dark in one section and light in another section. Um, let me see if I have another one. This one here is what I'm going to be using today. It's 12 by 12. So if you can imagine, this is a 12 by 12 sheet. And it has these trees here, but then it's white in the center part. So those I tend to cut up slightly differently. And they make for great um, card bases. But let me, let me show you. All right, let's put that away. The ink that I'll be using is Cinnamon Cider. And this is one of the in colors. The stamp set I'll be using is Peaceful Moments. This is a great stamp set on like an all occasion. You kind of got everything in here. Happy birthday, deepest sympathy, thank you, wishing you happiness, um, thinking of you, congratulations, life is better with a friend like you. So this is Peaceful Moments, very versatile. These are our pieces that we'll be using today. This is cinnamon cider, and this will be the base, and it's five and a half by eight and a half, so it's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock cut in half, five and a half by eight and a half. This is misty moonlight cut at four by five and a quarter, misty moonlight. And then I took that piece of paper I just showed you, the designer series paper I just showed you where it has dark print on the bottom, it's light on the top. And I cut that down to three and three quarter inches by five. And then this is also designer series paper. You see how it's printed on the back and that's sort of solid on the front. And that one is cut to one and three quarter by two and a half. And then I have a piece of white cardstock, just white cardstock, one and a quarter inches by two. And this is a piece of cinnamon cider ribbon that is approximately three inches, approximately. Okay. So those are your measurements and let's get started with this. Let's take the cinnamon cider. I'm just going to fold that in half and I did score it first. It makes it easier for folding and use my bone folder to get a nice crease. And we'll take the misty moonlight piece. that on here let me show you what I'm doing here what made me stop for a second when I folded it it has like a little bit I don't know if you can see it on there but there's a little bit it's a little bit longer on the back piece than the front one there is a way you can correct that if you want to or sometimes I turn it over this way because I know it seems like a little thing but sometimes I find it's easier to open the card if one's just slightly longer but I put that on the front because then that way you don't see it but on the front if you can pull it up and get a hold of it that way Otherwise, what you can do is you can um, pull it back to line up and then crease it with your bone folder. But I'm going to turn it over this way. And we'll put that down there. Okay. And then I'm taking this piece, the Designer Series paper. Any questions or comments you have, feel free to leave them below. I will get back to you and answer any questions. So there we go. All right, and then I'm going to take the small designer series paper piece that I have. This is very busy, so I want a more solid piece. I think, look at this, if this is really busy, if you put that side on, it's a little crazy. So I'm using the more solid side, but it is a piece of designer series paper. And we're 
gonna lay that right up in that white area at the top, a little whiter. So that's what you have at the moment. And I'm taking this little white piece with my cinnamon cider ink. What have you been creating lately? I find that I need a few. Um... Okay, let me tell you this too. Putting a white piece of cardstock on a white background and scrap piece is a little hard to see what you're doing. So I'm going to smooth this aside and do it on the brown table. A little easier to see my piece. Okay. Sympathy cards aren't always the fun ones to make, but they're good to have on hand. Um, so I would suggest with these, you make a, you know, three or four of them at one time. Okay. So I'm going to flip that over on the back. Just put a little adhesive there. And I have my cinnamon cider piece. And I'm going to fold it to make like a V. Okay. So it's just like this, a V. And put that on the back of my piece. And we'll grab the ever favorite dimensionals. How's your supply of dimensionals? Do you need some more? If you do, let me know. You know how to get more of them, right? <laughs> dimensionals, dimensionals. I go through a lot of them. Okay. I'm going to put that on top there. And press. And there you go, ladies. Okay, that's our card for today, but use background paper. Look how simple that was. But the busyness here, and then I still use, you could use cardstock for this piece, but I really like pulling in, um, just it has a little bit of a, it's not solid. It's more of a solid, doesn't have the busy flowers, but it has still has a little bit of uh, that mottled look there, so it has some texture to it. So just use that designer series paper. And know it's beautiful. I hear a number of people say, oh, it's so pretty, I'm afraid to cut it up. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. We can get more, okay? And there's lots of more beautiful paper coming. So this is the card for today. Hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and create with what you have. Let me know if there's something um, I can get for you. Talk with you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.